doth keep his rebels here to night. They need the queen come not within his sight. For Oprah is passing fell in wrath, because that she, as her attendant, had the lovely boy stolen from an Indian king. She never had so sweet a changeling. And Delta brought her now the child, knight of his strain, to trace the forest wild. But she performs with whole beloved boy, crowns him with flowers, and makes him all her joy. And now they never meet in grove or green, by godly clear or spangled starlight she. But as they quarrel, all their elves for fear, creep in acorn cups and hide them there. I dread to stay for shape and make you quiet, or else you are that shrewd and knave a sprite called Robin Goodfellow. Are you not he? Yes, yes, thou speaks the rights. I am the merry wanderer of the night. Look yonder, fairy. Here comes Oberon! Still met by moonlight, craft of Tanya. What? Jealous, Oberon? Fairy, skip hence. I have forsworn his bed and company. Tarry, rash one. Am not I thy lord? Then I must be thy lady. Why should Titania cross her, Oberon? I do but beg little changeling boy to be my henchman. Set your heart at rest. All fairer than fight off a child of me. His mother was a votress of my order, and for her sake I do clear out the boy. And for her sake I will not part with him. Give me the boy, and I will go with you. Not to thy fairy kingdom! Fairies, away! We shall fight our friend if I love him, stay! Well, go thy way. Thou shalt not from this grove till I torment thee for this injury. My gentle pot, come hither! Thou rememberest, since once I sat upon a promontory, I saw young Cupid in the midway hanging, and a fair vestal virgin taking aim, that flies the shaft smartly from his bow, as would pierce a hundred thousand hearts. But when it came beneath the watery moon, the chaste beams of Diana quenched its heat, and the imperial virgin passed on, and made a meditation free from harm. What's this to me? Observe me, Puck. Yet marked I where the bolt of Cupid fell. It fell upon a little western flower, before the white, now purple in love's wound, and maidens call it love and idleness. Fetch me that flower, the herb I showed thee once, the juice of it on sleeping eyelids lay, will make a man or woman madly dote upon the next lad's reach that it be. Fetch me this herb, and be thou here again, ere the vibe is to know thee. I'll put a girl around the mouth here in forty minutes! Of this, I'll shriek her eyes and make her full of hateful fantasies. 
Do not think so, 